Hi, my name is Mira Kedis. I'm an instructor of medicine and I'm a third year nephrology fellow here at Mayo Clinic Rochester. I'm here to present to you a publication that will be upcoming in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings titled Clostridium Difficile Infection in Patients with Chronic Kidney Disease. This was a collaborative effort from colleagues in the Division of Infectious Disease, including Dr. Badur, and colleagues from the Division of Gastroenterology, Dr. Sahil Khanna and Dr. Daryl Party. We also had the expertise of Dr. Amit Nohira from cardiology who provided statistical help. As you know, Clostridium difficile infection has been shown to be the most common transmissible nosocomial infection in healthcare facilities. This has been associated with significant morbidity and mortality, and we've seen that over the last few years. Some of the known risk factors for C. diff infection include prolonged hospitalization, older age, immunosuppression, and exposure to antibiotics. In a similar fashion, our chronic kidney disease patients seem to have several of these risk factors and therefore represent a very vulnerable cohort of patients for Clostridium difficile infection. The studies on Clostridium difficile infection in chronic kidney disease patients are very few and are, have been limited by small sample size and inconsistent results. For these reasons, the objectives of our studies were to look at the rate of Clostridium difficile infection in a population of chronic kidney disease patients hospitalized in a large database and compare those to non-chronic kidney disease controls. We also wanted to look at the morbidity and mortality associated with Clostridium difficile infection in this population of patients with chronic kidney disease. We used a database called the National Hospital Discharge Survey. This is a national survey that collects information on demographics, dismissal, admission type, as well as inpatient mortality from non-federal short-stay hospitals. This has been taking place annually since 1965, but we're looking at the, we looked at the data between 2005 and 2009, which is made available online. What we found was that chronic kidney disease patients represented approximately 8 million patients of those hospitalized between 2005 and 2009, which represents approximately 5% of those hospitalized during that time period. When we looked at the rate of C. diff infection in this population, we found that patients with chronic kidney disease have greater than two-fold higher risk of having Clostridium difficile infection compared to patients without chronic kidney disease. Of more concern, those patients with chronic kidney disease who were on chronic dialysis, so our end-stage renal disease population, they represented the highest risk group they were at the highest risk of acquiring Clostridium difficile compared to other patients. But despite that, even patients who were not on chronic dialysis but had chronic kidney disease, they still had a higher risk of Clostridium difficile infection when you compare them to patients who didn't have chronic kidney disease at all. Not surprisingly, we found that the chronic kidney disease population that developed Clostridium difficile infection tended to be older, required prolonged hospitalization, and they were more likely to have an urgent or emergent hospitalization compared to chronic kidney disease patients who did not have Clostridium difficile infection during a hospitalization. When we looked at hospital-associated morbidity and mortality, we found that those chronic kidney disease patients who did develop Clostridium difficile during a hospitalization, they had almost a two-fold higher risk of mortality in the hospital compared to chronic kidney disease patients who didn't acquire Clostridium difficile infection. And this relationship stayed significant even after adjusting for common comorbid conditions. This study does have some limitations, mainly that it's based on ICD-9 codes, and also that we were not able to have access to some of important information that would give us a better assessment of risk factors. In the future, we would like to better study what unique risk factors CKD patients may have in order to be able to intervene on these risk factors and help decrease the incidence and the prevalence of this infection in this vulnerable cohort of patients. Again, I'd like to acknowledge my colleagues in the Division of Nef Nephrology. Dr. Chen was the lead author on this paper, Dr. Badur from Infectious Diseases, Dr. Khanna and Dr. Daryl Party with Gastroenterology, and Dr. Amit Mohira, through whom this work was made possible. Thank you. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. 
Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.